Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Muhammad Shah. I'm a manager of academic experience with Kaplan Medical. Today I want to talk about one of the very commonly asked questions that I receive from a student, how to use the Kaplan Cubing to achieve the highest possible score on the USMD exam. As we all know, USMLE step one, step two CK or step three, questions on exam are very worthy, very long. So the time management is one of the big problems for these students. I would suggest whenever you are doing the question, try doing questions in the time mode. Try not to use the question in a tutor mode. That way you will be much more prepared and much more comfortable on the day when it comes to the time management. Second, try to read the explanations of all answers. For example, you did one block. Now go back to read the explanations of all answers, correct and incorrect. That way you will get the most out of from this block. You will cover a lot of content knowledge um, you will learn a lot from that, you know, by doing that. Also, when when you are reading the explanations, try to find out the theme of your mistakes. Are you misreading, misinterpreting the question? Are you not paying attention to the lab results? I mean, are you unable to integrate the concepts? What is the reason that you are selecting the wrong answer? Especially, try to work on that. Um, there, the USMLE exam is the game of two things I say. One is the knowledge. If you have a concrete knowledge, you are doing really well, you know everything about the content, that's excellent. Now it's time that recall. You have a limited time, few seconds to recall. So are you able to recall within time? So if you have a recall and good content knowledge, your score will be really good on the day, on the, on the USMLE exams. Also, there are two bad habits students build during the period of preparation. One is misreading uh, the question and misinterpreting the question. If that is the one, try to work on that. And the second one is uh, uh, building a habit of you know changing the answer choices. So if, for example, you select the A, then you select the B, uh, you are confused, you select the E, and you know, I mean, you change the answer choice. Every selection, you select the one answer choice, should have a reason behind it. And if you are changing the answer choice, should have a reason behind it. So all this have to have a reason behind of your selection. Um, I would suggest also try to, when you are confused on one question that, okay, I don't know the answer about this question, try to work on an elimination strategy. What is elimination strategy is that, that by looking at the answers, you say that, okay, D, E, and C has nothing to do with this topic. I'm sure it's between A or B. Then look at the questions, question we need again. See the clues that lean you toward one answer choice. I hope this helped. I wish you all the best. If you have any question, please leave the question in the comment box below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.